Heyo Duckies and Dilippy here, back with another OBS tutorial and this one is looking at the cutest OBS theme ever. This is absolutely adorable. It's so easy to install and I love it. You know, you know I like my pink stuff and all that jazz. Let's just get on with it, alright? Put your rock over the stone, let's go. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV are literally your one-stop shop for all things streaming. They've got tons and tons of overlays and alert packages. You can get all your different sub emotes and also badges. Anything that you need for your stream is available on Own.TV. And what's even better is that you can save yourself a cheeky 50% off anything using offer code Andy50. I'll leave all the links in the description. Thank you Own.TV for sponsoring in this portion of the video. Getting this installed is super easy to do. All we need to do is download it from the OBS website. All the links will be in the description, so don't worry about that. All the information about it here, it looks so cute, it's beautiful. Uh, we just hit the download button in the top right, and that is gonna download a little zip file. So we can open that up, and you will see a folder and a QSS file. We're gonna copy both of these, so if you right click and copy, and then we're going to go to where your OBS is currently stored. So mine is on my PC, and then in the C drive, and then it's usually in program files or program files 86. Mine's in program files. We're going to scroll all the way down to OBS-Studio, or lowercase. Open that bad boy up, and then inside of here, we go to data, and then OBS-Studio, and then themes. And we're just going to paste it directly into there. Obviously make sure the OBS is shut when you are doing this and this will ask for admin privileges. Just press OK, continue on everything and that will get it all installed. Now we can open up OBS. Upon opening OBS, it'll all look pretty normal to begin with. We're going to go to File in the top left and go to Settings. In Settings, we will have an option at the top under General Theme. And we're going to select that and go down to the Cool Guy Kawaii Edition. Select that, that's going to start changing everything in the background. It will take a second to load. There we go, so once it's loaded, press apply and then press OK. It can take a second to apply, it took probably about 10 seconds then, which I've cut out of the video. Then press OK and you're all ready to go. Yeah, I know it's a super bright theme, but it looks absolutely beautiful. So something that I would recommend, in case you have any issues with like plugins and things crashing, make sure you do share any of the crash logs as well. Uh, I think this is a great way to just get OBS looking a little bit more fresh. Pretty much everything has been changed in this theme, so you've got all your menus that have been completely changed. So if I go back to settings, for instance, you'll see all the settings menus completely adjusted into this theme, the fonts changed, everything like that. Uh, and as you can see, all of the, the toolbars and everything has changed as well. It's super sleek, it's nice, it's a good way to kind of if you're bored of looking at OBS, just add some life back into it. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this has helped you out and uh, got you looking beautiful in your setup. I want to say a huge thanks to all these people here for supporting this content and allowing me to do this full time. And if you want to consider joining Patreon or using the channel members down below, even Super Tip, anything that helps me make this content. All right, guys. And check out this video just here if you want to see some other themes that you can use in OBS. All right, put your rock in for the stone.